Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm at Kenny Upol and I'm actually in Cornwall, Ontario right now. Yes guys, I'm actually up in Ottawa for the week and well I figured I'd come to all the junkyards up here and show you what they got up here because well sometimes they have different stuff and this is something I would not see in Niagara typically or Hamilton junkyard typically rather. Uh, it's a 1985 Cadillac Eldorado and had a nice blowout on the, the side the sidewall the tire Toyo 8000s these are old tires I don't think I've seen those for a long time titanium certified advantage whatever that is I don't know and this funny cars are going back to the style mirror now it seems for aerodynamics this time though there's your Eldorado badging. Pillarless doors. Huge doors though. Like this door has got to be four feet long. Red leather interior. Some dash cracking, but not too bad overall. There's the mileage on it. It says uh, 14, 1,000, yeah, 1,460 or something like that. I, you guys can see it better than me, but uh, probably more like 100 and 1,000 because that's definitely a little low for this condition. It's a beautiful bench seat though. As you can see, you do have an armrest. The leather is a little bit worn and torn, but not too bad. Manual mirrors, but you had your manual mirror for this side routed through the door to the dash right there, which is something they kind of went away with. But you uh, don't have a, this had a digital dash in 1985. That's neat. I'm going to have, we're going to have to take a look at that from the other side, but the wood grain is beautiful. I love it. More of the same tires, but it looks like they were put on and then this thing got parked. The bits of rust here, but it's really not as bad as I'd expect it to be for an 85. Your gas cap is back here, which... Wow, that flicks up fast. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to stick that back in. Fuel tank was underneath the back which isn't allowed anymore your crest and the tail lights and this was the last of the poppin' sticking out tail lights i think like the fin tail lights uh but if you look the trunk's actually savable and there's the round key that's for the doors the square key is for the ignition on these some bubbling, but overall it's not too bad on the body. Or I think I spoke too soon. Oh my gosh. This is bad. This is really bad over here. The spring perch, I think it's called, is just gone, pretty much. And the frame back here... <laughs> That is so bad. And I can see the interior. It's really, really well ventilated. <laughs> Lighting on the outside here and your vinyl top, which isn't in good shape either. There's a hidden number in there. Huh. You could have it in English or French or something different. Auto headlight or auto cruise. Right there. Kind of neat. I like this gauge cluster setup. It's simple, but it's kind of elegant. And it was a comfy car too. It looks so comfortable. Miraculously. The crest is not gone from the hood yet, though. I would have thought that would have been gone by now. The 
and we'll open up the hood and take a look at what it's got so under here HT 4100 so I think this is the 4.1 liter V8 if I'm not mistaken and it has fuel injection for an 85 that's pretty neat that's not as common in the GM world at least um, Volvos and Volkswagens it was but not the GM world but uh 4.1 liter v8 I don't know if this is the one that blew the head gaskets or what but there's also this this was neat it was a uh, a light system that showed you whether your signal was on brake light was on or something along those lines um, someone please if you know exactly what is explained to me how those worked uh, I do know they displayed little lights that you could see from the dash of the car to see what lights you were had on in your dash whether you had the signal or whatnot on but uh anyways i'm gonna call that here because that's i'll show you the car anyways thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button as well as subscribe for more and if you watch to the end comment down below grandpa's cadillac and well have a great day everyone thanks for watching